Today we find ourselves in Brooklyn, leaving the island of Manhattan and crossing over into the beautiful borough of Brooklyn. And today uh, we're going to talk about the difference between the Iron Ranger and the blacksmith. Now the numbers don't lie. The Iron Ranger is definitely the most popular and sells the most, but I think the blacksmith itself lends its hand at the competition and I think can change the game. But the question is, at how many angles can we make this point? Alright, it is the showdown. The Iron Ranger versus the Blacksmith. Today I'm wearing the 8188s, the uh, Pecos in the Hawthorne with that heel stack that I had put on there, the leather heel stack. Okay, so I have the 3340s with me and I also have the 4606. This is the Briar and then this is the Ebony Harness. Now they both have the, the reason I have these two um, for the showdown is because if you walked into any Red Wing store right now, you would find a blacksmith with the Vibram lug, mini lug, and you would find an Iron Ranger with the Vibram mini lug. Most of my, or a great deal of my blacksmith and Iron Rangers have cork, or I've done some other kind of conversion. Um, because I, I know some of you ask me, oh, why, why do you not like the Vibram mini lug? For me, it's, um, it wears out faster than the cork. The cork is uh, stronger um, and it takes longer to break down versus the Vibra Mini Lug. So the Iron Ranger initially, as you saw in my videos, uh, came with a natural cork and I tried to get as many natural cork Iron Rangers as I possibly could. And I was able to track down the OG um, blacksmiths which came with natural cork so I tried to get as many of those as I could um, so I guess people were complained to Red Wing like um, oh I slip when I walk <laughs> so Red Wing put the Vibram uh, mini lug on all their boots or rangers and blacksmiths so yeah but I prefer the cork all right so let's get into it the Iron Ranger versus the Blacksmith. The showdown. Everyone really loves the Iron Ranger. I know when I'm in Red Wing and people come in, they usually um, walk over and pick this boot up first. Everyone is drawn towards it. it makes sense, it's a very attractive boot. They definitely overlook the Blacksmith. An everyday perfect boot to style, very versatile, and this one definitely gets overlooked. So besides the visual comparisons, as you can see with the cap toe being number one, that's the most visible. And then also the um, back stay on the Iron Ranger versus the Blacksmith. So those are like the two most uh, visible differences uh, between the two. I feel like it could be like that song, one of these things is not like the others. One of these things 
doesn't belong. Besides the obvious, the toe cap and the backstay between the boots. I'm going to talk about the style. Uh, for the showdown, for me, this is the better boot. This is the more attractive boot. This is the uh, more stylish, easier to style, more versatile boot um, than the Iron Ranger. If you want to know about the differences in the look and all that other stuff, um, that's fine. But I'm talking about the style. And this one, to me, is much more versatile. So um, when I go out on auditions, I will usually wear uh, a blacksmith. The, I wore this one a lot, the 3340, and I also wore the 9161 a lot. I wore my merchants when those came out, and then I wore the um, 3341 charcoal blacksmiths um, quite a bit as well. And the reason is because it's just the plain toe boot, and it's a simple, easy, everyday boot. And then, if I booked the job, I would go to my fitting, and I would normally wear um, something very close to what I wore for the audition. And the stylist would say, oh, I like your boots. Um, maybe we'll just use those. Or she'll say, can you bring those for the shoot? And so um, I often would wear uh, my blacksmith on the shoot. Actually, a lot. A lot of TV commercials, I use my blacksmith. So I'm sure that if I had these and wore these to the fitting, um, they would say, oh, do you have something without a, the cap toe? Do you have something plain? I can um, probably guarantee they would ask because um, this is just gives a different look than uh, what they would normally want. So that's number one. Just everyday perfect boot. You can dress. The, you can you can wear these 100% with the suit as long as they're in good condition. You can wear these with the suit, and then you can wear these. And they look really good with just jeans and a t-shirt. You can also wear these with uh, uh, chinos. These look good with chinos as well, as long as the chinos are um, not too tapered. If they're a little bit on the looser side, like a straight fit, and you do a nice little cuff, these look pretty good. Um, but these, uh, either way, either fit, I think work perfectly. Um, with a chino, like I said, a suit. <laughs> Actually, and also, you know what? These, these beat up, the blacksmith beat up, look pretty damn good. The Iron Ranger beat up, I can't say it holds up that well because this starts to sink and then this, you know, kind of gets a little bulbous. Even without, you know, I talked, I spoke about fit in the past where you should have that, you should have that crease and that crease and this after a long wear should not be perfect because that means if it is, then it's, it's an ill fit. So you should have that double crease. You should have a crease here and a crease here. Um, I've seen folks walking around and their boot is pretty beat up, but this is perfect. And I know that boot's too big for them. Um, but um, this one can come off slightly clownish with that cap versus this one all day, every day, all day, every day. I've seen some, some beat up blacksmiths come into uh, to Red Wing for a resole and a, re and a rework and they always look good. I usually take a photo if I can um, because I, I always like how they age. And then what will happen is depending on the hardware, the hardware will start to, well, let's see, on the, on the older ones, the hardware uh, will start to get a nice little shine to them once they get it. Um, both of these are brass, but I've seen some that have come in and they have a nice little shine from being from being worn and, and worn in. So I, I really like that as well. Okay. The one thing which would be really cool is if we gave the Iron Ranger and the Blacksmith bottle of wine all right gave these guys a bottle of wine and then just let them you know 
have a have a night together and then come back in a few few days and see what happens after the Iron Ranger and the blacksmith share a bottle of wine and a night together in the fantasy suite. (laughs) What happens is you get this beautiful baby, a round toe with the external backstay like the Iron Ranger, a nice hybrid blacksmith iron ranger combo these guys having a night together creating a beautiful baby <laughs> lugs the Luxo. i don't know where Luxo came in that's from like the uncle some some uncle's jeans came in and gave them the lug soul <laughs> but we have the briar we have the external backstay we have the uh, piping from the blacksmith we have eyelets and speed hooks. I mean, what is going on? <laughs> Why not? The best of both worlds. The 45-85 coming at you. <laughs> so there you go. That's what it's about. You got this one and you got this one. And then you're like, you know, Creating this beautiful baby right here. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, there you have it. The showdown. The Iron Ranger versus the uh, slightly more superior in every single way, Blacksmith. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. And remember, be a boot. See you guys next time.